In this video, we are going to show you how to use the workbook feature of the constructor. To get started, the first thing we want to do is go up here to the workbook tab and click on there, and this is the area that you'll add your content for the workbook. We already have a partial text file that we've created that we're going to insert here. If we go to insert and then text file, we're going to load uh, this workbook file. In here we have some content uh, regarding the circuit that we're working on. Uh, down below here, uh, where it says click on these action links, uh, below here this is where we're going to uh, show you how to set up action links um, that will actually uh, work with the simulation uh, in the main part of the ladder diagram. While in this workbook area you have uh, access to several tools uh, as you would a normal word processing program. Uh, you can insert pictures, uh, you can adjust your font, uh, bold, italicize, justification and more. But to get started we're going to go to the ladder diagram area since we have our content for the workbook. And over here uh, where the act of help is actually being displayed we have an icon for uh, displaying the workbook. So we'll click on that icon and this is actually uh, now displaying uh, the content that we had uh, in our workbook. We're going to go ahead and uh, scroll down in this workbook area to the spot where we're going to add our uh, action links. So let's start here and then over on the ladder uh, diagram section we're going to start with this uh, stop push button. We'll right click on it and choose send simulation action link to workbook and immediately you'll notice uh, that the link gets placed over uh, in the workbook area. Uh, to edit this link all we need to do is just right click on it and up here uh, is displayed now the um, edit menu for this particular link. Up top we have the link text which we'll go ahead and change that to press stop push button. Okay. Uh, this area is actually displaying um, the particular symbols that are available to us uh, that we can actually add to the list below. But as you see, uh, our push button control head has already been added for us. We hit OK. We're going to go ahead and add a couple more action links. We're going to do the same for the start push button. Right click on that again, click that option. And then the links being displayed over here, we'll right click on that and call this one press start push button. Okay. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to this jog push button. Right click on the action link. Call this press jog push button. Okay. Once our links are actually placed in our uh, workbook here, uh, we can now simulate uh, this diagram and show you how they interact. So we click with the run. Okay, now all we have to do is uh, click here and we'll notice that the start push button over here will actually be pressed. The area is going to be highlighted as far as uh, how the link's connected to that particular symbol. Click stop. We'll start again. Press the jog button down, hold it down, let go. Uh, these options here will be uh, useful for uh, educational and training purposes. Uh, you'll be able to utilize those in uh, different manners. One other thing we can do uh, when we've constructed that workbook area, uh, if we go up to options and go to uh, project options, under permission settings we have the ability to uh, set this uh, project to where uh, the work document uh, access is actually locked. So by doing that uh, prevents uh, somebody from being able to edit um, any of the information in this area that's being displayed. So if you pass this file on to another user, um, this won't be um, changed by them. One thing to note while working uh, in the workbook section, um, if you go up to file, you have the ability to export your document um, to different text documents. Like in this case, we created one earlier and we called that uh, first one that we pulled in, the Jog Circuit Workbook, we exported it as a, a DOC file. Here's uh, the different types uh, of formats that you have the ability to export to. By exporting, it gives you the ability to uh, use those files uh, for future workbook projects. Uh, this concludes our tutorial for uh, the workbook.